Family, peace and blessings, peace and blessings, man. This is Mark the Messenger. I wanna talk about meditating on the word and how we should be doing it daily, keeping our mind centered on God and Christ and keeping our mind on the things above. And on the Sabbath day, I feel like God has been convicting me and I wanna show you guys and tell you guys that you guys should be doing the same thing too, especially if you want spiritual growth or maybe you want some spiritual clarity, uh, a better understanding. Um, it's time to start really tapping in and you know meditating on these words, these laws. And this is how you're gonna level up, man. And also applying to what you're hearing into your life because you gotta think about it. I was talking about this on my live stream that I did last night. For those who missed the live stream, don't worry, it'll be on my main channel uh, on Monday. On Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. If you're a member to the channel, you can watch it already, but if you haven't, if you're not a member, it's all good, it'll be on Monday. Anyways. And I was telling people, you know, meditating how, you know, think about the time when we were listening to secular music all day. Uh, we we're listening to it five hours a day. And the words that we were meditating on, the, the raps, you know, we, we memorized all the words. We, we, some of us went to concerts and, you know, we did all the extra stuff. Imagine if we use that same energy to, you know, growing and, you know, elevating through the kingdom and bettering yourself, self-improvement, you know, being, becoming the best version of yourself. Imagine if we did that, because remember the Bible says what's stored up in your heart comes out of your mouth. It also says that um, through the tongue, this power in the tongue. So was, uh, I'm, I'm outside, I'm on my balcony right now. But anyways, you got to understand this, man. Please, please start meditating on this word. Think about the music we were listening to, the demonic frequencies. Imagine if we, the 24 hours in our day, in our life, we put 20 minutes, bro. The times you go out to the store to go grocery shopping, um, hanging out with your friend, or whatever the case may be, going to work, stuff like that. I'm telling you, have that on the background and really start to meditate on it and watch your life. Is You're gonna start to see changes, man. You're gonna start to see, you know, certain sins, certain strongholds that you were struggling and battle with. You're gonna, you're gonna start to realize a couple days, a couple weeks later, especially if you've been implementing fasting and prayer, you start, you're gonna start to see your flesh no longer want, uh, or, sorry, your flesh is always going to crave sin, but your spirit is so is overpowered because, you know, as the scripture says, the spirit is raging war against your flesh. So when you're more in tune with the spirit, you're going to start to, you know, not even thinking about things that you used to do and the sins that you overcame and maybe the strongholds that you're battling with and stuff like that. So I really got to push that out more often is, you know, meditating, meditating. And I understand that the enemy, he likes to corrupt what God has created. So when people think of meditation, they automatically think, oh, new age and stuff like that. Remember, God, uh, saying is like, he's a copycat. He likes to copy what God has done or what God has created, etc., etc. So God says to meditate on his word, his laws. Satan tells you to meditate in the woods, Indian style, uh, you know, uh, po you know, yoga poses and all that demonic stuff, putting up the 666 hand sign. So you see how the devil works, you see how the enemy tricks people. So a lot of religious people, when they hear the word meditate, they automatically get triggered, oh, that's new age. But no, there's nothing new age about meditating on the word. And let me tell you guys, man, I'm about to go hit in the hot tub, the Sabbath day, and I'm gonna be listening to the um, Bible verses, bro. I don't care who's around me. You know how when you, when you go to the gym, right? You go to the gym, and you go anywhere, people blasting their music, bro. I'm gonna be blasting scriptures. Anyone got a problem with that? That's too bad, bro. That's too bad. And see, one thing about when, when you do that, right? You, the word is getting spread out, and here comes these devils. Here comes these demons slapping louder music than you. I know. I understand how it goes. You know, slapping louder music than you. You know. So, <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, also, I just got this new camera. Let me know, guys, if you guys can hear me clearly. Because someone said on my unboxing video that I did on my other channel, Mark the Messenger Unfiltered. Someone said they could hardly hear me, which is crazy because I got the most expensive mic. So that shouldn't not be a problem anymore because so many people were saying that. So yeah, let me know. Also, I have an announcement, a few announcements more to do in the future. And expect to see more videos on, um, on this page. Guys, expect, expect to see more videos on this page now that I got everything set up. I still got some things that I have to come ship within two weeks. I think should be good to go. But um, yeah, if you guys missed the live stream, the live stream I did last night was fire. It was lit, man. It's going to be on my main channel Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Or if you're a member to the channel, you can watch it already. Just go on the membership tab. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I'm out. I don't know why the thing's not zooming in. It's supposed to be using this. It's supposed to zoom in, but the button's not working. Maybe there's something I'm doing wrong. I'm out. Peace.